In Syria, the U.S.-led coalition said today there will be no deal to let ISIS fighters withdraw from Raqqa before it is liberated in the next few days. The coalition is working to free about 4,000 civilians trapped there. Holly Williams in northern Syria has the story of an American teenager who made it out. On the edge of Raqqa, these women have just escaped ISIS territory when one of them reveals she's American. I'm from Kansas. Uh, I've been in uh, Syria for five years. She's just 15 years old and says she was brought to Syria by her father against her will. My father, of course, he didn't tell us that we're coming to Syria. When it was time to like get out of the car and cross the border, he was like, uh, you're going to Syria. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a really big shock. Her father was later killed, she says, leaving her to fend for herself. She's a devout Muslim, but hated ISIS. We were prisoners. We were just, you know, quiet, uh, shut up, sit down. You're in your house, you have nothing to say. Be glad your head isn't chopped up. This blog, previously written by her mother, shows the girl in happier times, a seemingly normal American family because she's still a minor when not revealing her identity. Her mother, she thinks, is still in the U.S. Hi, Mom. Um, please, uh, if you see this video, please uh, contact me. She also misses the comforts of home. There's a restaurant called the Texas Roadhouse. They have a steak there. It's easy to forget she's just a teenager when she describes what she's seen. When you walk outside, there's uh, uh, intestines on the street. There's a head cut off from the shrapnel. There's a, there's a leg. She married a Syrian man, she says, who was recently killed by an airstrike and is now six months pregnant with his child. Yes, I still have hope. Um, hope to go to school, hope to be a normal person, hope to be a mother to my child. Holly Williams, CBS News in northern Syria. Remarkable reporting there from Holly.